The year is 1993, and Sylvester Sloan, Wesley Snipes, and Sandra Bullock team up for Demolition Man. It's a movie. It's pretty good. It's about a cop who's fighting a terrorist in the 90s, who then gets cryogenically frozen and woken up in the future to fight him again. It's not a bad film. It's got Sylvester Sloan. There's lots of action and explosions in it. And these are some painfully generically packaged cards from Skybox. Now, the showing from Skybox has not been good lately. So, let's see what we've got in the pack. Skybox, because great cards are hard to find. Hmm. Not convinced, lads. I'm not convinced. Skybox International, Demolition Man, characters, names, blah, 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 copyright. Cards approximately 1 in 18 packs for a foil card. That's better than 1 in 90 packs that they had on the last lot. So, 8 cards per pack. I've got 3 packs. Let's get them open. Ooh. Okay, already these are much, much nicer than the last lot of cards we had. Because they're all bordered. Cadillac Solitaire. So, this is presumably one of the cars used in the film. What have we got? Subject, Cadillac. Name, Solitaire. Class, Luxury Coupe. Leave it to Cadillac to create a luxury two-door vehicle with aerodynamic lines and outstanding interior comfort. Well, we don't really have Cadillacs in the UK, even now. So, bye. Hey, this is a uh, this is a frozen guy. So, this is Wesley Snipes' character. He appears to have been frozen there. Phoenix's head rolls. Spartan buries a fist into Phoenix's kidney. Mm. Unpleasant. So, Spartan's uh, Sylvester Sloan's character... I assume this is from the end of the film. What else have we got? There's the man himself, John Spartan. Justice, 1996. Inside the hideous cryo prison, Spartan is escorted by two guards down the barren corridors to the area where he will meet his destiny. Yeah, so, yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. Ooh, it's, uh, it's a chair. That's not that interesting. Parole procedure. Cold steel appliances used in 2032 sum up the harsh reality of the times. That's somebody's drawing on some cardboard. Behind the scenes. The Ultralight concept. General Motors' futuristic concept car, the Ultralight, provided the model for Demolition Man's Santa Angeles Police Department cruisers. Yes. Edgar Friendly. Oh, that's a face. And it's only bordered on two sides, and the character's head doesn't go all the way to the bottom. And it, mm, Okay, seeing the usual skybox quality come out here. Edgar Friendly, played by Dennis Leary, doesn't consider himself as a leader. With that face, who would? Two left. There's uh, John Spartan again. I think this is from the start of the film, before he's frozen. See uh, Wesley Snipes getting carted off there. Captain Healy chews out Spartan. I wouldn't advise that. He'll punch you, mate. And there's Sandra Bullock's character, whose name has completely escaped me. Just like home. Might be any normal evening for the 20th, from the 20th century as John Spartan and Len Lenina? Lenina? Lenina Huxley. Hmm. Okay, then. Next pack. Ooh, this chap's having a bad time of it. It's uh, it's almost a precursor to Judge Dredd, that. The whole stance and Stallone's look in it. What have we got? 47. Cocktail Confronted. Much more interesting. Wesley Snipes with a ray gun. Clearing a path, blood spurting, then instantly freezing in the sub-zero air. Exciting times in 2032. I can't wait. Oh, it's an eyeball. Fantastic. An eye for freedom. Associate Bob. I've got no memory of this character at all. And just like Dennis Leary's character, it's badly cut out. It's only bordered on one side this time. Doesn't go all the way to the bottom. 
Associate Bob, played by Glenn Shaddix, is incapable of being anything but a loyal assistant. The face of loyalty. Demolition Man, more behind the scenes guff. We got here some lots of sketches of the same person. Is that supposed to be Wesley Snipes' character? The prison guards. Demolition Man's crow prison is guarded by a number of highly trained, unemotional employees of the government. <laughs> Aren't all government employees like that? And then we've got some uh, some random binary code around the top and the sides, just for a laugh. Demolition Man is uh, some some things. Some things are happening. A new beginning. John Spartan steps outside the cryo prison. Mm. Horrible, horrible, low quality, grainy shot that is. Ah, Wesley Snipes again. I've already forgotten the character's name. What's your name, mate? Come on. Having scaled the slippery cables of the wasteland elevator shaft, Simon Phoenix. There we go. Simon Phoenix. And Lenina Huxley again. So, we got Spartan defrosted. Lieutenant Huxley washes a Spartan is methodically defrosted. I seem to remember the 3D effects in this film were pretty good for the time, given that it's 1993. Last pack. Can't get into this one. Buick Wildcat. That's, uh, yeah, that's not something that was ever released. Just another one of these concept cars they did for it. An engineering masterpiece. Okay. John Spartan and Simon Phoenix again. Is police officer John Spartan responsible for the deaths of 30 innocent hostages? Yeah, so that's why he ends up being frozen. It's, uh, it's this guy. Hello, mate. What are you looking at? Attitude and plenty of it. Hmm. It's a blue lady. Okay. The scrap look. Scraps rebellious out outlaw outcasts of the San Angeles community of 2032. Scream individuality. Yeah, she's uh, she's a reject from Avatar. What else have we got? Some sort of science lab scene. Again, really, really poor quality uh, still. They're taken from the film there. For the crime of involuntary manslaughter, Officer John Spartan is sentenced to remain frozen within the walls of the cryo prison for 70 years. Doesn't, doesn't look very prisony, I'll be honest. That's... Uh, it's a man in a dress who's accidentally escaped to Mad Max. Defending against the scraps. Defending himself against the attacking scraps on motorcycles. No memory of that whatsoever. Ah, John Spartan again, shooting some guns. Spartan drops in, stepping from the LAPD helicopter as if it were his Aunt Mary's front porch. <laughs> Strange wording on some of these. And the very last one, the man himself, John Spartan. So, this one's no good either. It's not level. He does go all the way to the bottom on this one, but only because there's a graphic covering it. There's no blue border on it. These uh, these character bio cards are uh, just absolute rubbish. Absolute rubbish. All that police officer John Spartans, played by Sylvester Stallone, trademark, trademark, really wants is for people to behave themselves. And when they don't, Spartan doesn't hesitate to jump in and correct the situation. Should be a teacher, mate. Send you to a primary school. Yeah, they're, uh, they're a thing. No duplicates from three packs, but no, no holographic special chase cards, anything, anything. They're all right. What more do you want? It was 1993. Eye on a stick, eye on a stick, this is the eye on a stick song.